The highlands of Tigray, Ethiopia, produce the region's most well-known product, white honey. But the process of making something so sweet requires a bit of grit. Segahun and his fellow beekeepers hike the steep hills here to their enclosure of beehives. They use modern beehive boxes, which yield more honey than traditional ones. The modern hives hold beeswax sheets, which allow bees to focus their energy on making honey instead of beeswax. But the honey harvesting can't begin without one key element. Smoke. Smoke is essential as it calms the bees. And calm bees means fewer stings. Though by this point, these beekeepers are used to them. Still, the bees can become a major nuisance, as you see here, workers trying to maneuver around them. After removing some of the honeycomb, the beekeepers decide to retreat to higher land. Eager to escape these angry bees. But some bees won't let up, and more smoke is needed. The frames are then placed in an extractor, which spins the honey out. But the bees won't give up on their honey that easily. They continue to harass the beekeepers. So it's another hike up the Rocky Mountain, another effort to hide the honey further away from the bees in pursuit. Finally, the team feels at ease to extract Ethiopia's liquid gold. But the relative peace doesn't last long. As the sun dips beyond the horizon, they continue the trek up the hill. carefully carrying their bowl of treasure. Finally, the team reaches their destination, a rocky clearing. The bees have abandoned the chase, and the group can now enjoy the reward of their labor under a darkening sky. <laughs> I feel real good when I work with bees. That is because bees go with all kinds of activities. And I feel happy because it is particularly associated with reforestation works. After so much hard work, you know what it's like? It's sweet. Honey is sweet. I do love honey. I definitely eat some. 
The team sells this honey to other villagers and local companies, and of course they satisfy their own cravings. We all eat it. If there is something left, well, honey is honey. We take it home. Honey is widely consumed throughout Ethiopia, used in cooking and as a medicinal aid. But it's mainly produced for honey wine, the national drink. For Segahun, there's a sense of pride here, contributing to a bigger cause. All of us are happy with the work here. In the beginning, the introduction of modern beehive boxes made us uneasy. But today, we are saying, can we get more? You only visited one site. But there are plenty more all over. We believe in it, have seen the benefits. So much so that we have made our cooperative strong. Locals are convinced that it works. Yes, we are afraid of them, but only because they will die when they sting us. If that happens, both of us will suffer. So we protect ourselves not to be stung. <laughs> A determination to protect the pollinators that have afforded him a sweeter livelihood. In Tigray, beekeeping is becoming more popular, and as efforts increase to preserve the local flora and fauna, more and more people can put their hope in honey. You can always see more on our website and connect with our show team on Twitter under CNN Inside Africa. We'll see you online until next time.